Hey, this is Mark with Merchant on the Mark, and in today's video, I wanted to do something just a little bit different. Uh, as you know, I make a lot of my income from uh, shoe reselling, and I want to show you the exact process that I go through uh, every day to find profitable shoes. It's a very simple process that anyone can follow, and it's called reverse sourcing. If that's something that you're interested in, I actually have a free download that you can get access to called the Six Figure Shoe Reseller uh, right in the description below or possibly somewhere on the screen right now. So if that's something you're interested in, check it out. Other than that, we'll go into my computer and I'll show you the exact process that I follow every single day to find profitable shoe flips. Okay, so you can see I'm in my computer and uh, what we want to do is just type in a generic type of shoe. So let's just search for uh, cowboy boots and we'll search for most popular brands. That way, uh, even if I don't know anything about um, cowboy boots, this will give me the list of brands that are the most popular. So Justin, Ducasi, Corral, and Rocket Buster. Okay, so that's really um, helpful. So we'll use that information later on. Okay, so now we're going to come into Amazon, and I'm just going to do a more generic search. So I'm going to search for cowboy boots to get started, just to get a lay of the land. And you might notice that on here, I have a lot more information that's showing up, and those are due to uh, different extensions that I have installed in my Google Chrome browser. If that's something you're interested in, that will be included in the checklist uh, download in the description. So right here you can see immediately that uh, this particular shoe is uh, 4,198 in clothing, shoes, and jewelry. That's its ranking or BSR, best seller ranking. It's a term in Amazon that basically means it's the 4,198th best selling uh, boot or shoe in this particular category. So that's really good. It makes over uh, 2,900 sales per month. Um, the monthly revenue is 375,000, um, 132, which is crazy. Uh, the net is 93.93. So after, uh, if you take the buy box price, so the current price of 129 minus uh, the Amazon fees right here, $35, you get this. Um, and so uh, that will give you a, a quick idea on exactly what you would need to source this product for uh, to be profitable. So. Uh, you know, if this was one that you were going after, you'd want to get a price uh, that you could buy it for, which was less than this, and typically, you know, $15 to $20 at least less than this. It also shows you um, total number of sellers. We go for ones that are, typically have three or more sellers because that means Amazon uh, and or the manufacturer is not typically selling that product. Um, and you just get a lot of other information. So, um, again, we see Ariat is a popular brand on this page, Roper. Um, Old West Boots, Laredo. And so you'll just go through here and you can quickly see which are the more popular boot boots. You can see the most popular styles. We can see that brown is more popular, it seems like, than black. Uh, that's something that I wouldn't have known. Uh, one tone or one color seems to be more popular than all these fancier boots. So uh, the next thing that I like to do is use an extension called Jungle Scout. And if that's something you're interested in, I'll include a link down in the description as well. And basically what it does is save you a tremendous amount of time. There's really no way to do rever reverse sourcing easily without having a tool like this. I use this one and Helium 10 as well. But basically what it does is it goes through and it pulls in a number of results. It varies based on uh, the search results page that you're on. But this one is going to pull back, it looks like 53 right here. And um, what it does is give you all the data in one easy to find place. And the best thing that I like about Jungle Sky is that you can filter the information to find exactly what you're looking for. So the first thing that we would want to filter by is um, the seller type. So ideally we don't want to be sold by Amazon, AMZ right here. We want to compete against fulfilled by merchants or FBA listings and we want sellers to be greater than three, three or greater uh, because that typically means that uh, that brand allows outside sellers to sell their product and it's not just Amazon and the manufacturer selling on that listing. So the way that you do that is you just go into menu, filter results, and then you'll go to the lowest number of sellers is three and then uh, I go down here to FBA and FBM, apply changes, and then you can see of 53, only three meet that criteria. Okay, so then you could do a sort by monthly revenue, and you can see this one right here, this Ariat Rambler Western boot, uh, sells by far the most, and you can see it sells for 149.95, that's what the current price is, and your net would be 110. So you'd be looking to buy this shoe somewhere for 110 or less. So what we'll do next is let's just go out to uh, Google again. 
and we'll search for let's search for what name brand was that that was Ariat boots clearance and so the first site that comes up is Ariat itself and so let's go down and see if there's any other sites so Cavenders is a Western Outfitter uh, that's a, a local store Academy has these DSW designer shoe warehouse um, Amazon sometimes you can get good deals and flip them right back on Tack Room Inc. So let's just go here and look first since they're the manufacturer. And what you would do next is uh, you could try to find that exact boot on this site. So uh, you can see over here they have a 10% off your first purchase coupon as well. So you could get that and automatically get 10% more off. Uh, and what you could do is just do a search for whatever that type of boot was. So let's just say the Rambler Western. Let's search for Rambler Western. I think it's this one right here. So it's $169.95, so it's not on clearance. Even with 10% off, it wouldn't be worthwhile. Uh, however, I would go through um, other sites other than area and try to find this product on sale for less than $110.16 or where you could at least use coupons to get it down beneath this. Then I would go by the next one and look for it on the site. I would look on other sites. Then I would look for this one. Okay, so after you've gone through and you've found um, the best sellers on Amazon and look for sources to buy them, you buy whatever was applicable. And then the next thing that I would do is go back to the um, clearance page and I would go one by one, I would sort by best sellers and then I would go one by one, I would go Sutton Waterproof Boot, Ariat Sutton Waterproof Boot on Amazon and see what it's selling for. So you know you can buy it here for $159.96 minus the 10% coupon. So it looks like that one's not going to be a good fit. You might have to look around a little bit more uh, to find that exact product. This one is more of a, a lighter brown. But you can see this one has multiple colors right here. So uh, that's the second way that I would do it. I would go through all the clearance on the source site and see you know, if you could buy something else over here that wasn't found in our initial search uh, to sell on Amazon. So um, that's a great way to go about finding profitable shoes. Then the next thing I would do is go through the exact same process and search for each of these boot brands. So I would go to Amazon and search for Justin Boots. Uh, I would find the most popular ones. I'd try to find clearance versions of those and um, find boots that way. Then I'd do Lucchese, Corral, Rocket Buster, and Ariat. So hopefully uh, that helps you a lot and uh, it's clear on exactly the process that I go through. It is um, can be time consuming, but uh, this is why we have virtual assistants. And um, in the checklist download that you'll find down in the description, you'll learn all about exactly how we do it. So uh, hopefully this was helpful, trying to find popular uh, cowboy boots to resell on Amazon. So um, if you have any questions, just let me know. Leave a comment down below this video, and I'll see you in the next Hey, thanks for checking out this video. Before you go, I wanted to let you know about a side of my business that's become one of my most important and fastest growing income streams over the past few years, and that's the business of shoe reselling. Now, weird as it may sound, I've always loved shoes, specifically 80s and 90s era Nike and Air Jordans. However, that's just me personally. What I choose to sell actually is very different because like the theme of this channel, I like to sell what's already selling everywhere. So that means that I use a very specific formula so that I can focus on only buying the most popular, fastest moving, and most sustainably profitable shoes. This system has allowed me to build a very successful shoe reselling business over the last five years. And best of all, I built it with just a few low-cost software tools and zero full-time employees. So if you're interested in shoe reselling, or if you're looking for a new income stream, or maybe you're just looking for a brand new business altogether to start, I put together a very special free report that I think you'll love. It's called the Six Figure Shoe Reseller Checklist, and it includes all the insider tips and tricks that I've learned over the last five plus years to help you know exactly what types of shoes to source, what types to run from, where to sell your shoes quickly for the most profits, what tools and softwares I personally use to run my large shoe reselling business, and much more. Best of all, it's completely free, and I even include an in-depth bonus video where I go through the entire report and explain every single item in a way that makes it clear and easy to understand to get started. So if that's something you're interested in, just click the link in the description of this video, and you can get access to the brand new free special report while it's available. So again, this is Mark with Merchant on the Mark, and I'll see you on the inside.